Greetings, loved ones. In today's video, I will be showing you exactly how to get any single Yeezy off of Yeezy Supply. Now, of course, we know how to get them off Adidas, at least my subscribers do. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe. But we already know how to get them off Adidas. Of course, I will make an updated video on the multiple people jig a little later down the line. But as of now, I just want to get into how to cop off of Yeezy Supply. I'm going to be showing you guys two jigs. The first jig is a jig that I actually created, and I can assure you 100% this jig does work. Now, I, I can't guarantee you guys a W. I can't guarantee you guys anything, but, you know. Now, the second one, on the other hand, I'm not sure if they have patched this jig already. This is a bypass jig. And the second one is not one that I've created myself. This is actually one that I just happened to stumble upon in a Discord group that I'm willing to share with you guys. But yeah, I'm not confident that the second one works. I tested the second one on the Blush 500 release, and it did work, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm still not 100% on it because it may have just been a coincidence that it worked. Maybe I was just going to get in at that time anyway because I did try it a little late. So again, not confident on the second one, but the first jig that I'm going to be showing you right now guys it's it's bulletproof i like to call this jig the lte jig or you can call it the 4g jig the 3g jig you could just call it the data jig because well you'll you'll see all right so i'm gonna walk you through this step by step i'm gonna walk you through it so it's so easy that even your grandma can do it i'm gonna walk you through it so even uncle get oh, i gotta stop bringing up uncle gary i don't know i have some I have some vivid memories of him. Oh, all right, all right, forget it, forget it. So, obviously, I'm going to be walking you through this step-by-step, and step, so I'm going to make it super easy. But first, let me give some background for the noobs out there to what Yeezy Supply actually is, and just, just some fundamentals to it, essentially. For all you guys wondering what time does Yeezy Supply drop, Yeezy Supply does a random drop. It's a completely random time. Hence, I usually do those super long streams. And now before Yeezy Supply actually drops, before it goes live, a password page comes up. And you might be wondering, Keith, if this drops at a random time, do you expect me to be on Yeezy Supply for 24 hours refreshing the page? No, I, I, I don't expect that at all. You know who I expect that out of? I expect that out of Yeezy Mafia. Because Yeezy Mafia will tweet out to us when the password page goes up. So what I would do if I were you, if you do want to go to sleep the night of a Yeezy release, what you got to do is turn on notifications for on Twitter for Yeezy Mafia because they will tweet it out and sleep with the phone like right next to your ear like this. So when you feel the vibration or you, you hear the ding, you'll wake up and then you can hop on Yeezy Supply and don't worry, there's no rush guys. It usually, the password page usually stays up for anywhere from 5 minutes to a whopping 45 minutes so you guys have time don't worry if you need to get some nights rest that's perfectly fine so if you're wondering what the password page looks like it'll be a blank screen and all it says email for updates now you, you don't enter your email in here obviously this is uh, there's two speculations on what the password page actually is one speculation is that it's for Shopify to load up all the stock, but there's another guess, which is essentially just Kanye West's friends and family have a chance to get the shoe before it goes live to the public. I don't know which one it is, and to be quite honest, it doesn't matter. Don't, don't try to figure out what the password is, because I'm not even sure if there is a password. So you might be wondering, okay, Keith, how do I know when it actually goes live, though? How do I know when the password page goes down and the shoes come up and I'm able to buy them? Well, Yeezy Mafia will make a tweet saying uh, Yeezy Supply Live. And essentially, that's when the password page goes away and you just click on the shoe and you purchase it. However, by this time, at least for most shoes, it's often too late. I know for some shoes, like the power phases, those things sat forever and you could have took your sweet time. But say for the Yeebras, for instance, even for the blue tints and Beluga 2.0s, if you waited that long, or if you waited for Yeezy Mafia to make the tweet, by that time, it's almost too late, especially with the Yeebras. Basically, just take your L. So this jig, what I like to call the LTE jig, this jig is basically going to teach you how to get in before Yeezy Mafia makes the tweet. So let me run through it step by step. Now, some of you guys might already be saying, what's what in the world is the point of using a jig for this? Why can't we just constantly refresh the page? First of all, if you try to refresh, it's not going to do anything. Even when the shoes go live, it's not going to do anything because you're refreshing 
yeezysupply.com slash password. So even when the shoe goes live, all you're gonna see is the password page because you're just refreshing yeezysupply.com slash password. You don't wanna do this. What you wanna do is create a bookmark for Yeezy Supply and hit that bookmark. Or if you don't wanna create a bookmark, all you gotta do is just type in Yeezy Supply and click enter. Make sure it doesn't say yeezysupply.com slash password. It just has to say yeezysupply.com. But there is a problem with this. If you decide to spam the bookmark, I'd say if you do it two minutes straight, even though it, the password page could be up for as long as 30 minutes, if you do it for two minutes straight, you will get temporarily IP banned. This means not only will your one computer be banned, every single device on your Wi-Fi will be temporarily banned. This is a soft ban. It only lasts for about, you know, like two minutes or so. But regardless, it's still really frightening when this happens because you don't know if the shoes are going to go live when you happen to be IP banned. That would really suck. So instead of doing this, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the LTE jig to get in without getting banned. All right, step one, you gotta grab a cellular device. Step two, go into your settings and turn off your Wi-Fi. This will mean that you are gonna be on LTE, you might be on 3G, you might be on 4G. Step three, now you wanna go to Yeezy Mafia's initial tweet where they said, password page live. In that tweet, there will be a link that basically is just yeezysupply.com without the slash password. You have to make sure that the link you click doesn't have slash password. So when you click yeezysupply.com, it'll take you to yeezysupply.com slash password until it goes live, of course. So what you're gonna wanna do is obviously click done. If you're on Twitter, it should there should be an option at the top that says done. You click done if it's still on the password page. Then you go back, click the link again, and if it's still on the password page, you click done, go back. And you keep doing this for it could take as long as 35 minutes or it could take five minutes so you want to keep doing this as fast as possible it could get tedious it could be tiring but you got to keep on doing it trust me guys now here's the thing you can still get banned on lte because they could still track your gateway however the beauty of it is that if they ban you on lte they're only banning that gateway they're only banning your phone if you grab another phone and turn that to LTE, you're not banned there. Also on your computer, on your Wi-Fi, like in your house, you're not going to be banned there either. Meanwhile, if you were to not use this jig and you were just going to spam the bookmark, you'll get banned on every single computer and device that is on your Wi-Fi, which is going to be terrible. So like I said, step four, you're going to want to just keep on doing this. Make sure you're on LTE. Just keep on clicking the link. If it's not up yet, go back, click the link, go back, click the link, go back. And step five, as soon as you see that it doesn't have the password page up, you don't want to try to buy it on your phone. You could try to buy it on your phone afterwards. What you're going to want to do is drop your phone really quickly. Then you switch over to your computer, hit the bookmark on your computer, then pick your size, and then hit purchase, and you will be waiting in line. And then after you do it on your computer, go ahead and try it on your phone. The reason I say do it on your computer first before you even try on your phone, you need to have autofill set up, guys. If you're trying to cop on Yeezy Supply and you don't have autofill, your chances are already decreased by like a whole 50%. You, you absolutely need autofill, guys. It makes everything so much quicker. I'd also like to mention, of course, you cannot use PayPal on Yeezy Supply. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to try it on multiple devices, don't. You're going to get IP banned that way. And of course, I would also like to say, if you don't know already, do not ever try to attempt to buy multiple pairs on yeezysupply.com. I know, I know, it's going to be tempting to try to go again, especially if you're in that early and Yeezy Mafia maybe still hasn't made the tweet. Then you're going to be tempted to try and go for it again. This is going to be a fruitless endeavor if you do do this because they're just going to cancel one of them or if you happen to do like six of them, they might even cancel all of them. I've seen that happen before and it's really scary. The only way you can get multiple pairs is if you have a completely separate address and a credit card that is linked with that address as if like it has a billing address for that address. Alright, so that is the LTE jig. It hasn't failed me yet. I can't guarantee you guys anything, but you know, it's it's an amazing jig. Now the next jig I'm going to be teaching you, unfortunately, I can't say for sure if this is going to work. Apparently it's been patched a long time ago. It did work for me on the Blush 500 release, but like I said, I'm thinking this may have just been a coincidence. Maybe I was going to get in anyway, so 
Use this at your own risk. So again, I'll walk you through this Jake step by step. First step, you're gonna wanna add a random item to your cart on Yeezy Supply. Step two, make sure you're being careful and you want to fill in your address and head on over to the payment page. I'm telling you guys, be super careful. You don't wanna click fulfill payment or whatever. Step three, please guys, don't buy it. All you're gonna wanna do now is make a bookmark for this page and you can name that bookmark bypass. Step four, when you're on yeezysupply.com and you're waiting in line to go to checkout, all you gotta do is hit that bookmark, it sh it, it'll be called bypass, and it should bypass the waiting line, take you straight to checkout. Unfortunately though, I do think it may have been patched. I think when I did it, it was just a coincidence that it worked. So this is only for experimenting. If you wanna give it a shot, go ahead. Use this at your own risk, guys. But the first jig that I taught you, the LTE jig, I'm telling you guys, you better use that. You better use that jig. It is gonna increase your chances to the fullest extent possible. And honestly, it's it's a golden jig. So with that, I will be out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like if you learned something. Feel free to leave a like if you took W's because of this on the blue tint drop. I know tons of us were taking W's on that blue tint live stream or on the blush live stream. Feel free to leave a like because of that. Also, if you happen to be new, make sure to subscribe if you're already here. Guys, turn on notifications so you stay updated with all the news, upcoming releases, tips and jigs and whatnot. I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic day.